Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply, and this video is to bring you a closer look at the Ultra Hardware number 15001 storm door crash chain. They say this one's heavy duty. Um, yeah, for a residential application, I would I would probably say sure it would be considered heavy duty. I wouldn't really I would not use this on a commercial door or anything beyond a storm door, you know, something, a relatively light door, 30 pound door, things in that nature. Now the 15001 is different than its sister product, which is the 96222. They're both the same, they're basically the same chain, except that the 15001 includes the hold up spring, okay? So this is what the 15001 looks like in its packaging. I have one removed from the packaging. Let's go over it now. There is a link below this video to the installation instructions, which is the back of the packaging. Okay, and we're going to review that. First, a visual tour of the item. <clears throat> so, a hold-up spring. Um, you, In my opinion, if your choice is between the 15001 and the 9622, Go with the 15001 because it does include the hold-up spring. Double head nail. Okay. So, hold-up spring. Double head nail. Visual tour of the material first. You're going to have, of course, the business end. Your large compression spring that's here, your bracket to go to the header, then the chain itself, give you an idea of the overall length of the chain, overall length of the, of the uh, material itself. Overall length is, as you can see, about 26 inch or so, okay? <clears throat> You're also going to get the bracket that will be mounted to the face of the door. You're going to get the S-hook. You will then get the uh, fasteners that you're going to require. I've got that backwards. That S hook needs to go in the small leg. Two short screws, two long screws. Um, I would sure be using the long screws in the door itself. Uh, is what I would uh, is what I would be doing. Let's take a look and see what they say. If they do. So the installation instructions start with instructions for hold-up spring and nail. You can do it either way. I would probably start with, with the installation instructions, getting the item mounted. Attach bracket with large compre compression spring attached to it to head jam of door frame approximately 17 inches from the side of the jam. So that's this portion. Um, what they say is the bracket should be attached at a slight angle to the door as shown. Make sure that the bracket does not strike the door when closing. Okay, so this they want to have you position 17 inches over. And when you install, when you attach the bracket, okay, this is the bracket that you're attaching. Um, That's certainly going to go to the door. So this bracket, forgive me, I was I was backwards a moment. What they want you to do with this bracket is to, the door's in the closed position. Well, it'll probably look more like this before you install the hold-up spring. When the door opens, the door is going to open out like this. Well, this bracket, you don't want to have oriented like this. You want it to be oriented on an angle, they're saying. So when you position it on the header, Move that spring so that when it gets out here, it's more in alignment. So on a slight angle, it's going to look like that on the header. Okay, Emulate what your installation is going to look like when the door is in its operating position, about 90 degrees, right? 17 inch over. Then you're going to make sure that the bracket does not... Make sure that you can close the door without any sort of conflict between the hardware you've just installed, preventing the door from closing. 
Make sure the bracket does not strike the door when closing. Attach S-hook and bracket to the other end of the chain. And open the door to a 90 degree. And then mark off where you want the installation to occur. Okay, Mark your holes. Uh, you can go to the center of that elongated hole and then make any adjustments necessary and then go through the permanent hole. Um, is what you'll end up doing. They don't indicate what screws they want you to use in any particular place. Um, I'm going to say that the long screws are indeed going to go to the door um, because the larger screw, the short screws, are too great a diameter to go into that reasonably well. You can certainly force them to fit in, but they do fit in better in the in the header portion. Now this is going to be installed to the header. I have a quick little sketch here. You know, if you have a single rabbit frame, that this portion is going to go to your header, to what would be the stop or, or the soffit is what we would call that. Okay. Now the holdback spring or the hold up spring. They want you to take that nail, first of all, insert double headed nail through open loop on spring and hammer nail into wood jam 9 inch from the side jam. Attach other end of the hold up spring to the first link of door chain below the large compression spring. So what I would do is I would not install it that way. I would first get this onto this link and I would then take my nail and I would then stretch that to get it to 9 inch. Okay, I wouldn't put that on there and then try to fish that onto the end of that chain. I would do it the opposite way that they've indicated. The double head nail is going to be there so that you can hold it in place but that you could pull that out should you want to reposition it. Okay. That's your holdback spring. Now there are, image, there are images down below that are customer supplied photos of what a hold up spring does. And if you do have the option to have a hold up spring or not, you'll want one because when the door is closed, the chain's going to be hanging down. And you can see from those images where it'd be nice to have it kind of tucked up and out of the way so you don't, you know, hit your head as you walk through. Um, certainly possible if you're taller, it, it's likely going to happen. Now there is information below this video, extended in, uh, description information, single spring door chain with hold up spring and nail, heavy duty. Uh, this is zinc plated steel, okay, corrosion resistance, zinc plating. That covers everything about this product. There is a link below this video to the manufacturer's page where you can pull up not only all of the ultra hardware products that we sell, but also a link to the manufacturer's website as well as a link to the full product catalog. The name Ultra is synonymous with good quality imported builders hardware. They have a line of hardware that, as far as I'm concerned, the hallmark of their line of hardware is value. Good quality material, uh, very reasonable prices. I have, re I have reviewed a lot of their items. If you are a commercial client, I would recommend their hinges, their exit devices, their door closers, and their lock sets. Good quality material there, works really well. Uh, if you're doing a no sub, pardon me, if you're doing an open specification type job, and you, you know, you can offer your client, here's an idea to use, here's some other hardware that you can use, um, price it both ways, and I think you get a really good value out of Ultra Hardware. Uh, as, the, as the material is quality, it's, it's good quality material. If you're a residential client, I would look at their cabinet hardware. I'm always impressed with the fit and finish of their cabinet hardware. Some of it's made is made of brass, a lot of it's made of Zamac. Heavy uh, material that will afford a good finish. Good value, again, uh, is the bottom line. Below this video, again, a link to the manufacturer's page where you can pull up not only all of the ultra hardware products that we sell, but also a link to the manufacturer's website, as well as a link to the full product catalog. Any questions on the Ultra Hardware, their part number 15001, or any other Ultra Hardware products, please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you.